church family, I'm Laura, and this is this week's Go Challenge. In 1 Peter 3.15, it tells us as Jesus followers that we need to always be ready to give a defense for the hope that is in us. And so this week's challenge is to be ready. Are you ready to share the gospel and communicate the message of the gospel with someone in your life? So I'm here today to give you just a short method, a way to do that using the story. The story walks through four different parts of the gospel narrative, creation, fall, redemption, and new creation. So creation, like any good story, begins at the beginning. Genesis 1-1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We see in creation that God made the world good. Genesis 1.31 says that God looked at everything he had made and that it was very good. And he created us to have a relationship with him, and to worship him forever. But then something happened to change all of that. And that is where we see the fall, that sin made the world groan. So man rebelled against God and that created a separation between us and God. Romans 3.23 says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And Romans 6 tells us that the wages of sin is death. And so in our sin, we are hopeless. But praise the Lord that the story doesn't end there because then we see redemption, that Jesus broke the power of sin. God made a way for us to be redeemed, to be bought back, to re be restored into a right relationship with him. Jesus came, he lived a perfect life, he died on the cross for our sins. But then three days later, he rose again, conquering sin and death and the grave. And we then respond in repentance and faith to what Jesus has done. And that is how we are restored. We are redeemed to right relationship with him. And then when we are in Christ, scripture tells us that we are a new creation. We have new desires, we have new direction, a new purpose, and we are made a part of a new family, the church. 2 Corinthians 5 says that we are a new creation. And then we have in Revelation 21 the promise that one day Jesus will return again and make all things new. In Christ, our sin does not have power over us anymore, but we also have the promise that one day there will be no more sin. No more death, no more tears, crying, or pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. And he who is seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. And that is the good news of the gospel. And so your go challenge this week is to be ready. Be prepared to give a defense for the hope that is in you, to share the gospel message and call people to respond to the gospel in repentance and faith. Yeah.